And how do you decide on which topics to discuss each week? Yeah, so um, we work very closely with our audience, you know, asking, hey, who do you want to listen to? Uh, we have a list right now of over 200 names and topics uh, based on the audience input and we review it and review it again and uh, and that's how discuss with a, a few folks and that's how we figure out who we want to uh, you know who we interview basically what we are trying to do at the podcast you know for one is our goal is really to create positive impact in, in the swine industry around the globe uh, by disseminating knowledge right uh, it could be other countries that don't have as much knowledge as some of the countries, but also bring new ideas from uh, around the globe to the U.S. as well. So where you know, so alert, that's kind of the goal. And you know, uh, right now we have a YouTube channel. We have over three thousand downloads per month. Uh, we are across twenty-five countries. And the way we like to describe it, Emily, is a supercharged extension, meaning instead of me driving, like I was driving four um, farms every day, like four farms a day uh, mm -hmm. or something like that, we can reach over a thousand farms a day uh, through the internet, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's still the value to be in the farm, of course, but there's a bunch of people doing that. So the niche that we find is, is, is that. Mm -hmm. It's certainly a lot easier to digest information when you can listen to it on the move. Not everybody has the time to sit down and, and read an article or, or research something themselves. So I guess, you know, they can come to you as a one-stop shop for, you know, information about what's going on right now that's, that's affecting the global pig industry. Yeah.